welcome to my channel i'm gonna be showing how i made this moist cake in less than a few minutes using my cooking blender yes my cooking blender so i'm gonna show you the ingredients i used um this is about the ingredients i used and let's go straight into it i added my eggs first off i used like three eggs and i added my sugar to 50 grams um straight up i really like this good in penny sugar it melts up very very easy so i recommend it so i blend that together this is just the egg and the um sugar and i put my oil in now straight up into the um blender you can substitute your cooking oil with um your butter but i prefer to use cooking oil be because it's just it's just what works for me i put in a little bit pepper that's optional like five grams of pepper and i just let these ingredients mix up well you can add a little bit powder or liquid milk so i just pour that you can see the texture is watery now i put in about three cups of flour if your blender is bigger than mine you can actually put the flour straight into the blender but yeah you get it i have a smaller um, blender but this recipe still works out 100 percent fine and it makes me being able to make cakes in the morning for tea so easy like i just put this i just do this in less than five minutes and boom i throw them into the oven and then i go shower but the time of the shower in my cake is ready for breakfast and it feels very great so you want to mix that up i own a spatula but i just prefer using the wooden spatula i don't know why it's a personal preference so you just want to turn that in a little bit until it mixes up now the texture is going to trace your batter is going to be traced. What is traced is when you raise your mixing spoon or spatula up. It's going to look like you drew a line on the cake. I'm going to zoom it that in. But here I'm adding my baking soda. Add one over four teaspoon. I add about three of that into my um, mixture. And then I'm going to mix that up again. I was talking about what a trace is. A trace is when you mix your butter and when you raise your spoon up, you can see the butter is forming a thin line. That is what a trace is called. So you, that's the texture we are aiming up. As you can see me checking my trace, when I raise up my mixing spoon up, it's not just going to blend together as you can see it now i'm zooming in to show you the trace it's like it's drawing a line over the batter that is what um, a trace is so that's the texture you're aiming at so i just put in one cup of raisin that's about like 250 ml 250 gram cup and i'm gonna fold that in and yes the cup is was what i used to do my floor so that's just about it it's so easy and it's so delicious and in case you're wondering yes i do put pepper in my cakes it makes them more um it makes them a little bit spicy like after you eat the cake there's this spicy earthy taste at the back of your tongue and that's what i aim for so i'm gonna put that into my pan i've already lied um laid <laughs> i've already lined my pan with um parchment paper so i preheated my oven my oven is like to five has one two three four five i put it at five while i was doing the mixing and once i was done mixing <laughs> look at the way i stabbed that cake <laughs> once i was done mixing i like bring it down to the middle three and i put the cakes butter in there and i just let it bake for about 20 minutes that's it on the door 20 minutes and my cakes were ready Thank you so much for watching and this cake happens to be one of the most delicious cakes. So do bring your spoons. Bon appetit. This is like really delicious.
i love you guys don't forget to subscribe to get easy very easy breakfast recipes from me i love you guys